Okay, this is the Mercedes, uh, what they call the M124. Uh, this particular, or excuse me, W124. And uh, this particular is a, a model is a 1994 model. And today we're going to change the brake pads. And we'll start off, if I get too close it'll get fuzzy, so I'll just kind of show you here what we got. You can see these two plugs right here. These two plugs are for the sensor. We'll unplug those. And then you can see there's two pins here. We'll take the two pins out, and then we'll pull the brake pads out, old brake pads out. We'll put the sensors in the new brake pads, and then we'll put the, the new brake pads in, put the pins in, and the job okay, will be done. So like I said, step one, I'm going to remove the, the, the sensors. So these plugs, these round plugs, you twist them, you pull, got the one plug out, twist it, oh, and you twist it and you pull. Oh, and I got the other plug out. So now we got the two plugs out. And now I just got to take the pins okay, out. Okay, so uh, you're, you're supposed to use a, a specialized uh, drift pin removal tool. And I got a nail. So let's just see how that works. Okay, we got one pin out. Oops. It helps if you like uh, take a file and blunt the end of the nail a little bit. Okay, got this one out. Okay, so now I, I am uh, okay. I got the pins out, and one of the things I did is I took a pair of pliers, grabbed the ends of the pins, and then tapped at the pair of pliers with a hammer, and that made it easier getting the pins out the rest of the way. Now I, uh, the next step is to pull the brake pads out. Uh, I got the sensor wires kind of clear of all the little, these little clips here. You got to be careful there. And uh, so I'm going to do is and take a, 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 the B screwdriver, the big screwdriver, the BFS, and we're going to. Uh, Put, pry a little bit in here, and we're going to uh, pry between the the pad and the rotor, pushing the pistons back in. So there's pistons on, on the outboard side, and there's pistons on the inboard side, and I'm going to pry a little bit here so I can get a little bit of room to maneuver, and then I'll just take a pair of pliers, grab the, the brake pads, and pull them out. So Okay, so I uh, loosened it. You can see how these are nice and loose. And I found the best technique was is to go next to the rotor and twist. So I would get, go here and twist, and, then, and uh, then once I got it pried out there, then I can get the thing in there and, and, uh, and do some prying. And, and now there's a ton of room uh, uh, in here, and it actually comes pretty easily. And now these things just pull out. One pulls out, the other one pulls out, and there's a, a little metal plate that, that comes in the back of each one. And that's it. So that's what we got here. Uh, here's the new pads, and they came, came with shims. So the way these shims work, is uh, they go in the back here, you peel off the adhesive uh, strip. Carefully line it up. There's little holes there to give it a thing to push on there. Oh, good. That, that's stuck on there. That's stuck on there. And the next thing to do is to take the old sensors off. I mean, I saw a website that had these sensors for a dollar. So you, you, if you're smart and you buy this stuff mail order, you buy the nice ceramic brake pads like you really should, uh, I just went down to the local auto parts store and got, got these uh, things here for $27 because we were kind of a rush here and they didn't have sensors. But the old sensors are fine. They kind of pry out. Okay, I just pulled the one sensor out, pulled the, the other sensor out, and basically you kind of see how there's a... a th you know, if, if your pads are so bad the lights came on, these sensors will be fried. But that's, these are still in good shape. And you can kind of see they, there's a hole right here. The sensor goes in the hole. Push in here. Oops. Oh, I did that backwards. Okay. Push it in here. And now we're ready to put the brakes in. Okay. Uh, if you didn't really push too hard, you, you, you could probably get the pistons in all the way with the screwdriver. But I always like to use a C-clamp. So they, they weren't quite in all the way. So now I put the C-clamp up here. And we don't, don't have to force it. Just do it, do it nice and easy. I'm going to do this one. And there's four four pistons, and so you do all four and uh, push them in all the way, and then everything will be fine. Okay, now we're ready to. I already got one side in there, one pretty easy. I found this is a, a little tricky. They come with these metal uh, uh, backing plates, so I put these in over the uh, pistons, and then then it's easier to slide this thing in. And there we're in. So now we just have to uh, put the uh, put this clip in here, and then the the two pins. And then we'll be okay, done. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, now we're putting things back in there. And I start off 
you know, uh, with the screwdriver, I, I position the pan so all the holes line up and everything looks good. Push this thing in there. It's kind of most of the way in here, but not all the way in. And then uh, uh, I had to take this screwdriver, press down on this pad, and then, you know, take the, the, the spring tension off here, and then I can slide this thing through. And uh, once I get it, uh, okay, there we go. We got it pretty much through. And now the way it works is uh, I take like something to, like, like I, I got like a, a 3 8 inch extension and a hammer, and I just kind of come back in here and hammer it in. But we got to make sure it's straight. Let me start on the bottom one here. Hope that one's straight. I'm going to have to realign the top one. Seems a little tough to get to. Maybe I should get a little bit longer. Oh, boy. Anyway, that, that's, the, that's the way you do it here. Uh, uh, it just takes a little bit of time. You got to move these things around and, and make sure. That they get in. And uh, okay, we got okay. that all set there. And uh, uh, one of the key points was is to get everything straight. Uh, I had them a little bit misaligned, so I put the nail back in there. And once I put the nail in there, I could see that my pin was too low, so I, I raised up there and I took my screwdriver, moved it around, and and did the same thing at the bottom. And then I, I uh, hammered them to where they're flat, they're flush, almost flush on the back. They're, they're, they stick up just a little bit, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch, but they're flush and you can see them sticking out here. So these things are nice and solid. And then we uh, plug in the sensor wire. Very carefully plug in the sensor wire. Make sure it's not caught in anything. Let's be careful here. Okay, it's all in there. Look around, make sure that these things look like they're nice and flat, nice and flat, not rubbing against anything. Yeah, this looks pretty good. That's in tight, that's in tight. Okay, I think we're all done.